Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you back again. My name is Ron Villano. I'm author of the book The Zing and also a licensed psychotherapist. I want to discuss this, uh, one of my chapters today. The chapter is called The Light Bulb. Now in the past we've discussed the analogy of the garage in the book, uh, the dumpster, the battery, and now we want to talk about the light bulb. Now the light bulb personality is very special and you're going to understand why as we move on a little bit. But I want to explain to you a little bit about the, a little bit about the light bulb. Picture yourself on a beach. Now you're on this beach and there's a, 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 a pole with a big light on top of it that's 50,000 watts of, of power. And it's in the middle of the day, about 12 o'clock. The sun is at the strongest ever. It's bright. It's a beautiful sunny day. And they put that light on. Would you notice that light went on? No. No one really noticed that light on with the sun out as strong as it is. However, as it started to get a little dimmer outside, as, as the sun started to settle, as everything started to come down, it started a little, little more dusk, a little more darker, now what happens to that 50,000 light, that 50,000 watt bulb in that light? It starts to become brighter and brighter, and when it gets pitch black, that light you can see for miles and miles and miles. Now picture that light as a light bulb person in your life. Have you ever had somebody in your life that you least expected would help you? Like out of nowhere, that wasn't the person you thought would help you in your time of need? I know in my life I did. A person named Beverly and a person named John. And they're in my book. In the book, The Zing, I talk about them. I talk about how that all evolved. And that's where you'll learn a lot more about it. But right now, I just want you to think of yourself as either a light bulb person or that you encountered someone who was a light bulb. Now let me define that for you. A light bulb person, someone who doesn't judge, doesn't fix, they're there to help you. There's no motive that's selfish. They're just there. And I know in my life, without a light bulb in my life, I'd never be here today. Have you had one in your life? If you have, I guarantee you cherish them. Now think of this. Think of a light bulb. We talk, spoke about 50,000 watts. You've got some people are 50 watts. Some people are 200 watts. Now, you can't expect to get more wattage out of a 50 watt bulb than what it is. That's it. And just like the person who's the light bulb in your life, sometimes they can give you 50 watts and then somebody else can give you 1,000. See, you wouldn't know that until you see what happens in your life when you have that need and you see how much they can give you. Now, you have to find out for yourself, and it's in the book, The Zing, you can start assessing how much power you are, what's your wattage. Are you a 50 watt bulb? Are you a 1000 watt bulb? And you know what? It doesn't matter what, which one you are. All that matters is that you know that you can be a light bulb person or that you have one in your life. And at the same time, think about this. If you're a 50 watt bulb and you're giving 50 watts, to me that's better than a 1000 watt bulb giving 500. Because you're giving everything you have. And when somebody gives you everything they have, that means they're doing it because they choose to. That means they want to help you. They want to be there for you. And you know, some per people like that are the people in this world that make up all the good. And I happen to think that our world is full of more good than negativity. And I think there's a lot of light bulb people out there, you haven't spotted them yet, and maybe that's a good thing because you haven't had the need. Or maybe you haven't become that light bulb person because you haven't had somebody in your life that you had to go and help as of yet. But when that time comes, you'll remember this whole analogy of a light bulb. The personality of a light bulb is just a person that no negative motive and cares and wants to help. Now I want to say this to you. All the previous stuff we've done, we've done analogy on the garage, the chapter the dumpster, the chapter the battery, and now the light bulb. I want to give you a little bit of each in each one of these segments. And you can go back and see and view any one you want at any time you want to. But I can tell you all the tools for everything I'm speaking about is in the book The Zing. And you can get the zing on Amazon.com, on our website, ronvolano.com, or on Borders Books. Now we'll be back again with another analogy and about another, another one of our chapters. So we welcome you back for that. Tell all your friends about us. And listen, catch the zing. And remember, may the zing be with you.